Hello everybody, it's me Prakash from Minsoft of Technologies. So now we are going to see the abstract of uh, the project called College Grievance Cell. So this can be implemented in Python technology with uh, MySQL database as a backend. So let me explain you the abstract of the project followed by different modules and their descriptions, okay? And software requirements, all these things one by one. Let's get started. So let's see the main aim of the project first. So it's called as college grievance cell and it deals with complaints raised by the students in their college on different departments like uh, CSC, EC, EEE, IT, MEC, civil, whatever it is, how many departments they have in their college. So they are going to raise the complaints on their uh, departments like uh, what are the problems they are facing in the respective departments like uh, computer lab or you know uh, their respective labs electronics lab or whatever uh, and apart from the college labs uh, they can also raise complaints on uh, library canteen or any other uh, uh, department in their college okay so once the complaints raised by students so every complaint will have a unique complaint id which is automatically generated by our project okay and these complaints will be viewed by respective department heads so once they see the list of uh, complaints uh, and they are able to see uh, complaints in two categories so one is uh, pending complaints second one is solved complaints so by default whenever a student is raising a complaint it will go to pending complaints so the department heads they can log in with their id and password and they can see the pending complaints as well as solved so whenever they click on uh, or they can choose this option called pending complaint, they can see the list of complaints which are in pending. So with the complaint ID, description and the date and time it was raised and the status as well. So of course by default all are in uh, pending status so they can see the complaint description and complaint ID. So they'll inform to the respective people or their subordinates to solve the issue. Once the issue is solved, and they are going to convert or they are going to change this complaint status into salt just by giving their uh, its complaint ID. So whenever they go to solve complaint and they, if they give the complaint ID, automatically the complaint will become, uh, uh, the status of the complaint will become as salt. So once it is solved, it will not be visible in pending complaints. It's only visible in solved complaints, okay? So like that, they can see uh, the pending complaints as well as solved complaints and department head is having a right to solve the complaints as well okay and uh, if department head is not solving the complaint for days together then the students may reach the administrator of the college might be a principal or uh, any other uh, uh, secretary of the college or somebody else who is taking care of all these complaints final person who will uh, you know uh, solve the complaints at any cost okay so those people can track all these pending complaints and solve how these uh, department sets are solving the complaints of the students and they can have an eye on all these uh, college issues, okay? And uh, what is the main aim of the project? It can solve the issues of all the students using this project and it is more helpful for students as well as the college management so that they can see the college uh, uh, very uh, helpful for everyone in the sense without having any issues okay yeah so now let's see the list of modules we have in our project so we have three modules in our project the first module is student in which student can log in and they can raise the complaints okay and department head uh, as i said you uh, is taking care of uh, uh, viewing complaints and solving complaints as well and administrator will add all the students and the departments as well as uh, Administrator also capable to solve the complaints and uh, see the complaints as well. Okay, let's get started. Uh, the detailed description of each and every module. Let's see what is a student module is going to do. All the activities of student module. So module description we're going to see now. Let's look at student module first. So what a student is capable of, if you see, student will log in with their registration number and password. Okay, you can give the default password at the time of, uh, you know, who will add the student? The adding of student will be done by administrator and the adding of new department head also will be done by administrator, okay? So whenever they add, 
the password is defaultly you can give like india role number or registration number the administrator will enter and the password is not entered by administrator which will be automatically like india or something give some india as a password default password one student will log in they can also change password as per their interest they can change the password but at the time of changing password it lasts the existing password so first student should enter india as the existing password because it is the default password given by our project and the new password is your choice okay and uh, confirm password also will take and uh, then we'll click on okay or press enter automatically the password is getting changed okay once student log in with their registration number and password student is able to raise the complaint okay so whenever student is raising a complaint just they are selecting first they are typing department name like csc it ec or triple e or mechanical whatever or they can also choose the, like a library or canteen or anything else okay so once the complaint is given like description of the complaint department uh, as soon as you type these two when you press enter automatically complaint id will be generated and it will be displayed to the student so they can uh, note down that complaint status and they'll go ahead a uh, complaint id and they, they can go ahead and by default the complaint status is pending because just now we have raised the complaint complaint that is automatically uh, the status of the complaint will be pending state okay so once it is solved by any department head like uh, within 24 hours or 48 hours whatever the time limit or within a week that will be converted into solved if it is not solved means definitely it will be shown in pending complaint so what student is capable of they can raise the complaint and they can also view the pending complaint suppose uh, one student is uh, given complaint last week okay or two days back they want to see their complaint either it is in pending complaints or solved so first they will choose the option like view pending complaints if that is there in the list still it is not at solved no we went to solved complaints it is there in the list so obviously it is solved like that students can see the complaints whether it is pending or sort and change password just now i already told you changing password is uh, their choice to change the password and then log out and remember whoever is raising the complaint the student role number will not be shown to the department head or admin just complaint id description and on which uh, department they are giving that will be shown to the department head or admin so we are not revealing the student uh, name and registration number or any other details because we wanted to hide it okay yeah second one is department head so second module called department head uh, is going to log in with the department id and password followed by uh, once the login is done they can view the pending complaints so whenever they see the view pending all complaints they can see the complaint id and they'll go and solve it once it is solved you know they are going to solve the complaint. They'll go to solve complaint option. They can give the complaint ID, press enter. Automatically, the status of the complaint will be converted from pending to solved. And whenever they go to view solved complaints, the previous complaint which was in pending complaint will be shown in solved complaints and it will be removed from pending complaints. Like that, we are going to uh, allow the department head uh, to view pending complaints and uh, to view solved complaints as well as he or she can solve the complaint as well. This is the extra capability that we are giving to department head. Okay. Suppose if the department is in uh, leave on leave or uh, he or she is dragging the complaint for a long time means then they may reach the next person called administrator. Administrator also is able to solve the complaint if department head is not available or uh, not solving the complaint for days together. Okay. And department head uh, can change uh, his or her password and log out. Let's look at the final uh, module called administrator, where administrator is having one uh, login user ID and password, and uh, he or she can add a new student or department head, anyone, and uh, they can view student with role number or department head with department ID. Okay, and they want to see all the students list or all the department heads. That is also possible. And they can delete a student with registration number or department head also they can delete and they can see the pending complaints and solved complaints one by one whichever they wanted to see suppose if the complaint is there for long you know duration like more number of days one week or two weeks together then they can solve the complaint by using complaint id once it is solved again it will go to solved complaints list okay 
so this person will take care of uh, the all the complaints suppose if the person any department has had is taking more time to solve then uh, the students may reach this administrator to issue uh, about their issue so he or she will take care of this uh, issue and once it is solved they will convert into solved complaints okay so finally log out from administrator so like this these three modules you can implement in this project and here let's look into software requirements so this project is uh, written in python 3 as the language i'm using python 3 and ide i'm using is uh, pycharm okay and then backend is my sequel so my sequel uh, any version you can use uh, i've used here 5.5 you can go for any 8.3 or whatever but python 3 as the language i'm using and ide i'm using here is pycharm okay yeah hardware requirements is uh, nowadays is common you can use any i3 or i5 uh, laptop or system and you can use this okay and uh, for source code of this project you can contact us at winsoft.hyd@gmail.com or you can whatsapp us at 9661818 so that will give you source code for this project and uh, all the students who completed course uh, python course online with us can try to do the project on your own once uh, you are able to do it submit me to the same email id which is given uh, here in this slide or else you can uh, ask me for any doubts on the project itself okay yeah thank you very much